Google doesn't have a little playground thing for us to use. But Google's secret AI is an incomprehensibly large amount of data, 20 years of information on anyone who's ever used it. And I first used it when I was like, probably six years ago, right? And I'm, and I'm guessing I'm a little bit more. The open AI, which can scrape the internet, can scrape everything that you said publicly, probably something like that. It um, knows all of your private searches, it knows how many times you've asked, am I pregnant, but you can be comforted a little bit that your individuality is something you cannot give less of a shit about. I don't care about you at all. Um, all of us are are combined in solidarity in just this virtually infinite data set of, of human behavior. And that's what, if you've heard of Surveillance Capitalism, it's a very lib book. I reviewed it. Didn't think it was very good because it fails to grasp that the future doesn't have individuals. The author of that book is very good individuals are being spied upon. AI doesn't give a shit about it. And this week, what's silly to me about the hand wringing that I've observed is that none of this is really that new. This has always been the goal. This is why data is, masses of data is one of the most resource, or the most valuable resources that exist, and we don't really play any role in it. So we have to answer this, at least. Learn, learn to laugh a little, because this is very fun. It's basically what we deserve. Laugh at fate. Um, but then the New York Times op-eds, the Atlantic op-eds writers have to explain to us, do you know what this means? And the nice thing is that we've got less than five years probably to AI makes their jobs. Um, you know, live streaming. This this will probably take at least ten years before they can completely replace it. But in ten years, we'll just have AI deepfake live streamers arguing with each other, which is what they kind of do anyway. It'll just be React content forever run by AIs. But the first thing I want to say about this singularity stuff is what I don't believe compared to the philosophy that's running around Big Silicon Big Valley Big and the pop philosophy that is that is sci-fi. Because I think the AI of the future and its singularity, whatever that means, is gonna be very stupid. It's gonna be the total terrestrial triumph of something very idiotic. And our fantasies about AI coming to consciousness our fantasies are the, the Matrix, the iRobot, the Terminator, where once...